Well, hello, friends. Welcome back to Commute Talk. Today, I thought I would talk a little bit about C++ memory problems, because somebody asked me a while back if I have a lot of C++ memory problems, and how do I deal with those? I don't remember who asked it or exactly what the question was, but it was something along those lines. And um, truth be told, I don't have a lot of C++ memory problems. Um, I don't think you're supposed to if you just use smart pointers um, and you use them a lot and correctly, then you tend to have very few memory related problems. Um, and I guess this is, <laughs> this is one thing that always makes me um, a little bit peeved when I hear people saying like C and C++ because uh, for me, the, just the, the huge difference in memory management between C and C++ makes them like two entirely different languages. Because in C++, you can actually tell the compiler uh, who owns a piece of memory, and the compiler will like reliably um, understand and take care of that for you. Whereas in C, um, you have nothing but convention, really, to, to help you. Um, but it's all up to you, right? So, um, with the use of smart pointers, and, and my, I have three smart pointers that I made that I really like, and there's, um, there's the own pointer, which is a single owner uh, owning pointer, and then there's the ref pointer, which is a multiple owner reference counting pointer that also that share, shares ownership of a pointy between multiple pointers. And then finally there's a weak pointer which um, does not own the object it points to but rather becomes null when the pointy is deleted. So with those three um, I and, and like using those as much as possible I very rarely have memory related problems. <clears throat> um, the, um, I guess I would say the, the main issue that I tend to run into where I have like memory corruption or any kind of like misuse of memory is uh, when I have some ownership model that's not entirely clear. So an example of that would be in the Windows server in Serenity uh, we have these um, Windows Server client connection objects, and um, the lifetime of those objects, uh, it's a little bit complicated because uh, basically when a client connects, then we create one, and then that object is like floating out in the ether, and then uh, when the client disconnects, or uh, when we disconnect the client because he's misbehaving, then that object is uh, zapped away. Um, and when we delete a client connection in the Windows Server, then obviously we want to clean up all the resources associated with that client. Um, so there's code for that. <coughs> but that's also the same code that runs when the client voluntarily um, like deletes one of his own resources. So uh, in that type of situation where you have um, code to tear something down, and then you try to use that same code uh, when you're tearing the whole thing down, um, <coughs> that it it's something where I often find issues because the code that runs um, to individually tear something down while the whole graph is still alive uh, usually does not uh, run very well if it's just implicitly called during um, complete teardown. So I've had a few bugs like that, and. Um, I have to tighten up that code because I'm not really happy with it. And I'm not really happy that I'm aware of this pattern until I run into the trap. <coughs> anyway. Um, but then, like, I use the smart pointers. And then, obviously, there's also, like, buffer overruns and stuff like that. And I tend to use uh, vector class for most things that have dynamic memory, uh, or at least if something is like a dynamic array, then I'm, I'm always using a vector. Uh, and then I have assertions in vector that you don't overrun. 
um, which just allows me to catch mistakes. Um, and obviously, those assertions would be compiled out and release, so it's not perfect, although right now we're not building in release, so it doesn't matter that much. Um, but I, I find that like if you're using if you're using template classes like vectors and smart pointers and and all of these things, and you make sure that your um, container classes have uh, assertions and that they're tightly typed and that they're you know well written, defensively written, you're not going to have that much memory trouble. You're going to have other kinds of problems instead, like. Um, like bad abstractions or, or bad ownership models or badly defined lifetimes, things like that. Um, more like real object-oriented problems. So, <clears throat> I mean, I, I don't want <laughs> to. I don't want to pretend that I never have memory problems because obviously I still screw up sometimes. And and since I wrote all of these like um, templates myself, then they've had bugs and they probably still have some bugs, but. But over time, you kind of iron out those bugs. And then um, when things stabilize, then you end up with something really, really nice. Or you know, if you take a shortcut and you just use some existing library like the SDL or Qt or Boost or whatever, then it's a pretty high chance that your stuff is already very stable and, um, and things are just nice. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, like. If you're if you're writing C++ and you consistently have memory problems, then I would definitely recommend that you um, try a more templated programming style, a more um, more OOPy or object-oriented programming style, and then you will graduate to a different class of problems, which are they can be harder to solve or like harder to work out like what the what the good solution is but it's also very fun and satisfying cuz they engage your brain in a on a higher level <coughs> and i mean none of these things are are necessarily hard it's just that they require effort and take time sometimes so what am i trying to say in this video i'm trying to say um it's possible to have a mostly memory problem free life in C++ and you can have it too. And uh, don't fall for the idea that it's supposed to be as uh, bad as C because it's not. It has mechanisms that protect you from uh, most of the pain of, of dealing with C and there's a time and a place for C but um, but C++ is uh, objectively better in every single way. So don't add me. <laughs> um, yeah. Other than that, I'm just going to say thank you for hanging out with me on the commute. And I hope you have a really great day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.